Hello my lovelies. So I am filming July favorites and yes I know it's the first week of August and this is being uploaded slightly late but you'll forgive me won't you? I hope so. Um, you know I think I've explained this before sometimes I just don't feel well enough to um, film for you know um, health reasons. Um, and I think that at some point I'm going to talk about that in a video. Um, so stay tuned for that. But on to my monthly favorites. So some of the things that I've been loving lately, I have some beauty products and I have, well, I think I have a book and I would like to do like a favorite um, TV show. You know what? I'm going to start out with a favorite TV show. If you guys have not watched the program The Killing, you need to. The Killing is a television series that started out, I believe, on A&E. And if I'm wrong about that, I'm sorry. But I believe it started out on A&E. If you have Netflix, all four seasons are currently available on Netflix. So A&E did the first season. And it, the a little bit of background is that this was adapted, I believe, either from a Swedish series or a Danish series. I believe it was Swedish. But it is basically like a crime drama mystery, and it's filmed in Seattle, and it's filmed beautifully. So the first season was on Netflix. I watched it, and I could not take my eyes off of it. I would like run home from work and and put on my Netflix so that I could watch it. And then the second season I loved as well. The third season finally came out. I really enjoyed it. It was completely different. There was a completely different uh, scenario. The first two seasons were based on the same crime. The second season, the third season was based on a separate crime. Um, although the characters all have remained the same and some of the, you know, the overwhelming sort of plot goes through the whole thing. And then, so A&E dropped it at that point and Netflix picked it up because Netflix felt that it had enough of a following to do a fourth and final season. And the fourth and final season and the finale was awesome! So... If you like television shows like that, give it a watch. It's great. Okay, on to beauty stuff. I have been loving for my hair. I know I showed you guys this in a haul. This is co-wash. So this is sort of similar to um, the WEN system, whereas you no longer shampoo wash. It's like a lot of people call it the poo, no poo method or no shampoo method. It's co-wash meaning it's a conditioning wash. I love this stuff. I wash my hair every couple days um, with it. My hair is it's in really good condition at this point and I believe that it has a lot to do with this. So essentially this is the only product that I use on my hair in the shower and I only use it every like three days typically. I have a lot of hair and that's the reason why I don't wash my hair as much because straightening it and everything else, you know, those of you who have long hair, you know what I mean. Um, this stuff I picked up from Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, I got it whenever there was a deal on it, but I believe it retails for about $7.99. It is kind of a pain in the butt because you have to open up this big container and put your hand in it. So what I did was I stocked up on this and I think I bought a total of like four of them, maybe even more than that. But what I did was I used a large pump um, liter bottle and I transferred two of these into it. So now I just have to pump um, and when it empties out I'll fill it up with the remaining bottles that I have. Um, a liter pump bottle fills up about, uses up about two of these. Yay! Okay, more beauty stuff. So some of the favorite things that I've been coveting this month are my Meat Matte Palette by The Balm. I love this palette. Um, it is mattes, um, essentially all neutral shades. I did do a review of it, and I will put that down here, but 
these are the the shades and they are creamy and gorgeous and pigmented and they don't crease they last they're awesome another beauty product that I picked up this past month that I really really love and I was so surprised by because I had seen this box um, for the series um, Revenge at Ulta like forever so it's MYX and this was like a collection that they did for the series um, Revenge that's on ABC so it got clearance down to like six dollars and I picked it up and I'm in love with it I have done some gorgeous eyeshadow looks um, it has blushes in it highlighters lippies um, it's really really neat and then it gives you these little cards on how to get the look of the the stars of the show I love this and it was six dollars so if you go by your Ulta and they have this clearance out really consider picking it up and I think it's a neat box I think whenever it finally empties out I'll use it for something else it's just a cool looking little box it's just cardboard um, and I keep on thinking that I might end up depotting some of these because these eyeshadow shades are gorgeous I've done a couple looks with them and I just love it okay next thing that I've been loving that I picked up recently is the MYX eyebrow gel <clears throat> I got the shade chocolate I also picked up another one I want to say not espresso but dark brown but this one has turned out to be the one for me I love it my eyebrows you know I love I, I think that eyebrows are super important to a face and I love the fact that there are so many eyebrow products out there now and that a lot of the um, cosmetic manufacturing um, industry is is putting out nice eyebrow products instead of you know I used to just use like eyeshadow and different things you do need to have a little brush like this you know a angled um, thin brush I have a couple of them I my favorite one is an Eco Tools one. That is not it, um, but I think that's a um, Sephora one. But you know, you have to clean your favorite ones, one, ones, ones once in a while. Another beauty product that I have been loving all summer long is the Neutrogena I apologize about that. I was interrupted, and that's probably going to cause a bad cut in this video. But you know. Um, so the Neutrogena Youthful Wear Spotless Foundation, not Neutrogena, Physician's Formula. This is like a serum type form formula of um, foundation. I would definitely compare it, and I know that I can compare it because I've tried it out. The Bare Essentials um, uh, Foundation, the Bare Essentials Liquid Foundation. Um, I got a sample of it and it's totally comparable to this um, as far as ingredients because I know that that one doesn't contain any water whatsoever um, this one does but it also contains a lot of serum type qualities things that are good for your skin um, you know I'm 45 I do have aging skin I have lines I have all the things that you will have whenever you're 45 <laughs> um, on my skin and this is beautiful on my skin it um, I feel that it has added a glow um, to my overall skin I just really love it I am gonna keep on buying it and making sure that it doesn't go away I don't know if this is a foundation that I will use in the winter but I know that during the summer it has been great for me um, it is light it gives me a good coverage I really really love it a lip product that I have been coveting is the elf um, you guys know that I love eyes lips face the elf moisturizing lipstick in pink wink pink um, it is this gorgeous color I have it on right now so you can kind of get an idea I'll freshen it up it's lovely it's really really moisturizing don't let the name fool you you know it's wink pink but it really is like a nude um, pink color sort of like a your lips but better type shade I love it it's the type of shade that you could pull out and put on your lips without a mirror because it's just so perfect it's just 
fantastic. Um, some non-beauty things that I've been loving this summer is, this is going to be kind of a funny one. I love these little um, fold-up fans. Um, and this happens to be one that a friend of mine, Caroline, brought me back from Hawaii. And it's just gorgeous. And I keep these in my purse. So I'll like put one in a purse if I'm going somewhere. Like if I go to a picnic or you know, um, an outing of some sort and it gets, you know, I start to have like a personal monsoon and it's just like a little hot, which it has been, you know, I live in the, um, in the Midwest, Northeast type part of the country, Pennsylvania, it gets hot and I just pull this out of my purse and it's like, Ooh, personal air conditioning. It's lovely. Um, some other things that I have been loving that are non-beauty related. Um, I've read quite a few really good books this summer. One of my favorites this summer was Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children. I really, really enjoyed this book. I think, and I didn't know this until after I started reading it, that it was um, actually, I think, written for teens. Um, but it was the it was on the number one New York Times bestseller list, and it was it was just a really, really adorable book. Um, something else that I have been loving this month is a shirt that I actually thrifted, um, but it is adorable, and I actually believe that they are still selling this at, um, Torrid. So this is by the clothing store Torrid. It is this rainbowish shirt, and it is cut really nicely at, um, you know, the waist, but, and it looks rainbowish, but it actually has these really gorgeous skulls all over it. So, it's so pretty. I've been loving it. It's sleeveless and I've worn it alone or with a t-shirt. Sometimes that type of fabric, which is like a chiffon, kind of bothers my skin. So I've been wearing it like over a tank top or over a t-shirt. I even wore it like underneath a shirt so that the collar came out because I thought the collar was so pretty. But yeah, those are my July favorites. Sorry so late. I'll try really hard next month or this month to have them on the last day of the month. But, you know, I figure you guys, you know, I'm just doing a favor to you guys. You guys got so many July favorite videos. And now you can watch a favorites video and it's August. I'm just looking out for you guys. Love you. Bye.